welcome back to the channel. Um, for you like subscribers and uh, people who've been following my channel, you'll know that I did the SRAD restoration series. Well, this is like a kind of follow-on series to that. It's gonna be um, more maintenance. So it's stuff not not directly to an SRAD, but I'm gonna be doing that on SRAD. But it's stuff that you should be doing anyway, as um, whether your bike's new or old, whatever. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna be doing in this series, um, that's a that's a mind the mess. I'm just currently um, sorting my carbs out. I've got two sets of carbs, so I want to take all the best ones. This one's been Dynajetted, so it's got the um, 128 jets in. So I'm going to, um, I've got a new kit coming with all new seals, and um, the float, this, the third carb, actually it would have been that one, wouldn't it? Um, it was flooding, it was flooding the, um, the piston. So I think the seal's gone in the, um, you know, where it seats down there. Anyway, this video is going to be about, I bought new cables, considering it's all apart. Um, so I bought new throttle cables and I bought a new clutch cable. I've gone for these um, AS3 ones. Um, because they've got... Was it, was it, was it pull up? Anyway, I went for these AS3 ones uh, because they've got a Teflon coating on them, so they're supposed to f be more free flowing. Uh, as well, I'm not going to put the clutch one on in this video, so I'm just going to put the um, throttle ones on. So let's get to it. Well, if you was doing this with your fully built bike you'd have to take the tank off you'd have to take the um, air box off and then on the carbs these cables will be attached on the side um, you just unscrew this till this comes out the top and then these will just unclip and then what you want to do is just feed them out really so actually does that pass through that yet yeah. So we're doing one at a time. So I'll take this one out first. Then you want to get a screwdriver um, under here, under these, so this bit opens up and then it will get access to the cables. So you get a posi drive screwdriver and under this screw. I think there's one at the front and there's one at the back. So unscrew those. So once you've took the two screws out, uh, you'll notice one of them is longer, that goes in the back, the shorter one goes in the front. Once you've took the, uh, it'll just come apart, it'll come off the actual, it'll come off the uh, the handle grip. And if you look at your new cables, you've got two different sorts. You'll see that one's got like a little, that part there, and the other one's got that big screwing part. Well, this one's your pull, this is your accelerator one, and that one's your push, that's like your snapback. So we'll put the accelerator one on first. Right, so what you want to do, I'm going to have to get myself a tripod because this is um, it's impossible to do with one hand. Um, on the back you'll see it's the top one. So you push it through and then you just screw that clip back onto the, um, the throttle control. Let me put it into its position and show you because it's, it's quite hard to do this with one hand. Okay, so it'd be like so. If you look at the back, so that screw, screw that down, holds that clip into place. Then your cable will come through the front like that. Now this is the other old one. So all you do is unscrew Unscrew this back piece and it will pull out. So you unscrew that, take that out. Okay. So now you get your new cable, the one with the big screwing part. Put the cable, put the cable through that hole and then screw that part that I just showed you into that hole. So I'll just do it. It's probably best to just show you the end. It's quite hard to show this is doing it with one hand, but it is very easy when you've got both your hands. So, 
don't know if you can make it out. That's the throttle one, that's the one that pulls when you pull the throttle, and that's the one that like snaps it back. So the way you attach it at the top, it comes over here, that's the throttle one. The snap back one goes at the back. So then you just put it back together. You just push that to the end, um, and then just put it back how it was. So, yep, I'll do that part. I'll show you that. I advise while you got it apart as well, use some of this uh, silicon lube. Just put a bit in there. Um, helps everything uh, move a bit better. That'll do. So then, yep, yeah, looks like that. Put the top back on. Make sure you lo locate the dowel into the um, into the handlebars, so that's in its correct position. Then uh, just tighten down them bolts. Remember, the long one goes at the back, the short one goes at the front. So there we go. Once it's all tightened up. Um, let's come out here. So what you want to do, you want to feed your cables round here, come through the gap. That's it, put one through there. That's it, back into the original position. Um, and of course, the proof will be in the pudding once they're uh, once the carbs have all been put back on and I've adjusted them. But uh, even initially, they feel. It feels so much um, smoother. Like, I don't know if you could pick it up on here. But they've got like a Teflon coating on them. Um, where's the clutch one? Ah. So it's got like a coating on the actual steel. Um, they have got a name as well. I think they're called Slick something or what's this say on here? No. Anyway, uh, they're a lot cheaper than the uh, stock ones as well. I think I only paid £27 for the push and pull on the throttle cables. They're the original ones are, um, I think they're about £70. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, until the next episode. The next episode, I'll put the uh, clutch cable in. But the clutch cable is a bit more involving because you've got to take all the... Um, you've got to take all the covering off down here. You've got to take all this cover off. And while that cover's off, I might actually give it a spray. I might spray it up. Because it um, looks like the paint's come off it. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.